Do I flex? How do you stay? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I use an 85 flex on my stick, uh, but I cut it down a little bit, so it's a little, probably a little stiffer than that. Why do I use that? It's just kind of the one that, that works for me. As a centerman, you gotta take face off, so it needs to be a little bit stiffer, but you still wanna be able to shoot the puck, so you need a stick that kind of lets you, uh, lets you do everything. Honestly, I have no clue. You hear guys that are, know everything about their sticks, I don't know much. I'm a, thinking it's like 87, but I have no clue. 87, because I feel like uh, today's you can use the flex a lot more than uh, you think. Like uh, back a few years ago, everybody mostly played with 100 flex because the harder the, the better or the cooler you would be. But now you actually have a chance to use the flex and I think going down helps you get the shot off quicker. 80, I like it whippy. Just for like a wrist shot, snap shot, I, I like it pretty whippy. So I kind of use the stick a bit to kind of whip the puck. Uh, 75. I've always kind of used a uh, low flex. I used 65 like my first three years and then those started getting a little too whippy and then I went up to 75 and it's kind of what I like the most. Flex on my stick is 70. I don't know, I just like it a little whippier and maybe it's 75. I think it's 75. Um, but I have like the big paddle on my blade so it's bottom heavy. I don't know. Break up probably a few more sticks than I would like but... Oh, uh, 75. I've played with it for maybe five years, six years. I'm probably gonna switch it to a little stiffer one, 80 maybe. I don't know, I like the pretty low flex. It's easier to pass and shoot wrist shots. On my stick, it's like a 77, but like cut down, so probably like a 81. Just not that big, and <laughs> that's a good flex for me. Nothing nothing too crazy about it. Uh, 80, 82. I just been, I, I always use uh, kind of soft sticks. Uh, I like the, the whippier sticks and started when I was young at like 50 or something. I just worked my way up. Stopped at 82, uh, I think. Get a good feel in the stick and, and I can use a lot of whip in the stick when I shoot the puck. 82. It's it's pretty flexible, you know, like you can you can flex it uh, so you don't have to go hard to, to shoot high and it's more quick. 82, I feel like it's a good combination of not being too whippy but enough that I can lean on it and I feel like the stiffer your stick is, the easier it is to stick handle, so just try and find a good mix. I feel like you gotta be able to shoot the puck still and 87 might be a little too stiff for me and I've tried 77, too whippy, so 82 is perfect. My flex on my stick is 82. Uh, why? I have no clue, it's just the one that, um, I mean, I was trying it out one day and I liked it. I uh, haven't really switched since. That's probably been about five or six years. 80 flex, and uh, I cut it down, so probably gets to 85, 90 flex. So I like the, the flex, not too hard, not too uh, soft, so. Uh, 85, I don't know, I just found that's uh, what works best for me, I would say. It was always higher and it's kind of slowly gone down over the last like five years. It went from 95 to 90, now we're at 85, so eventually it'll, Stay somewhere, hopefully it's there. It's not all for shooting, like battles, that, all that kind of matters with it too, so can't go too whippy where you don't really have the strength to weigh on it. 85, because I used to be old school, you know, 37 years old, so I was still in the way when I became pro of the 110, 115, where your clapper is magnificent, but then your wrist shot is too much Then <laughs> hockey is getting so fast and you need to have whippiness to be able to the pass to go leave your stick as fast as possible and your shot as fast as possible. And uh, I mean, it's only s some players that get to take clappers all the time. Me, if I take a clapper, somebody messed up on the ice because <laughs> it shouldn't happen. My stick, it's 85 and just, I don't know, just a quick shot. Obviously, I think it would be, I would be even better on face off. I would uh, have a, a higher flex, so, but you gotta choose. 87. 90, those two. It's 87 stick and I cut it a little bit, so it's something, I don't know exactly what number flex is it, but I started with stick 87 and it's still soft after a couple of shots, so that, that's my go-to. My flex is 87, uh, but I cut it down a little bit, so it's probably like a 90. I think I need a stiffer flex as a centerman. and Yeah, I've just been kind of using that flex for a while, so I'm used to it. Uh, 95. Uh, I cut it down a little bit so it kind of gets a little stiffer with that and tried to go whippier and it just doesn't apply to my game. Uh, I use 95 flex. I like it a pretty stiff stick. I still cut it down after that too, so. I have a 95 flex because I feel like it's a mix between uh, you can still shoot good and still battle with it pretty good. Uh, 95. Uh, 95 just, uh, it just worked out. 100 would be way too stiff. 80, 87 was too whippy, so just had to go with something in between. 
Uh, it's 95. I like it a little stiffer. I feel the puck a little bit better that way. It's kind of always what I used. It's hard to switch. It takes a lot of wear and tear and uh, better for one-timers as well, a little stiffer stick. 95. Just stick battles, face-offs, catching passes, one-timers. 100. You know, I used to have a flexier stick. I feel like the feel on a, on, a, on a stiffer stick is a lot better for passing, for handling it. And, you know, my thought is always, you know, when you get into a situation where you really need to lean on your stick and get a shot off, you know, you're never short of power. There's times where, you know, in practice, you're like, well, geez, like this is way too, way too stiff. Because you get a little tired and you're like, I don't want to shoot a puck. But when, I, when, I get, when you get to a game, I feel like you want a little, a little stiffer because I feel like you get better feedback from a stiffer stick. 100. Like it that way. I like the stiffiness of it and that yeah, just fits, molds my game. 100 flex. Um, it just feels right and, uh, and I'm pretty heavy so it just kind of matches and feels right for me. Uh, 100. I don't know, like uh, I always think you go a little lower but you know for the face off and for that I like to be like really stiff and I feel like after games go it's, even, it's always gonna loosen up so uh, I like it but I'm super easy, I'm, I got same stick I think from my 16-17 uh, like the, everything is same, they just you know the design and stuff is changing but I'm a really simple guy and I'm not really uh, changing stuff. Uh, 102. I uh, just always used a, a stiffer shaft and yeah. My dad bought me a uh, 102 flex by accident when I was younger and I just kind of, I, I liked it better catching passes, stick handling and, and shooting. So just kind of stuck with it. 100. Well, it's a little bit stiffer and I think just taking face offs and I used a, a two piece stick prior to that. One of the few guys that had the shaft and blades still when I, I think I played with that for three, four years. So yeah, I think a lot of younger guys have been used to using one pieces and I used to probably a little bit less flex, but I've always used a bit more of a stiffer stick. 122. I don't know what I had to start when I came in, but probably 102. But you know, being a taller guy, the more muscles I put on, and the stronger the stick has become. So uh, you know, 122 has been a good flex and feels like I can get my shots away quickly and hard when when needed to. So uh, good one-timer stick. For goalies, I don't know if you really have flexes. Uh, I don't even think goalies have flexes on their sticks, so I have, I have no idea. I think 85 maybe. Just that's just how they made it when I got it. They do with. Uh, uh, I don't know that, sorry. Oh, really? I don't even know what mine would be. 